Hi everyone. I am Prashant from Learning. Today we are going to learn about uh, the difference between the torque and moment. Moment is generally called as a bending moment. Um, now let's see this example. Uh, one guy is diving from the pool stand into the pool. Here the guy is standing at the tip of the board. That means he is giving a force to that board from the tip. Wherever we give the force at the board, the reaction or effort will be at the joint. We have the joint here, right? The joint is somewhat having a distance from the man. Then we can calculate the bending moment from the man to the joint because the man is a giving force. Why we call it as a bending moment means the man is standing at that tip the board starts to bend itself because we give some force to that hanging board it is a flexible board so it starts to bend right then the effort or the or the reaction will be occurred at the particular joint if the joint is weakened the board will be collapsed then the joint is the major reason to prevent from the collapse then it bears all the load that is given by the man then we can calculate the bending moment at the joint for the person where he stands he is not standing at the joint he is standing at somewhat distance from the joint but the effort will be held on that joint okay i think you can understand what i am trying to say now the distance between the force and the effort is an essential thing here perpendicular force and the distance will result the bending moment at somewhat the joints or points okay another example this is a kind of a bridge i draw somewhat uh, the side view of this bridge here two beams are there these two beams are connected by a one string and that string is connected by the various number of small strings these strings are connected to the base beam and the base string then it is holded by the string the base beam is supported by the the base string that is connected to the two beams we give the upward direction here because the beam is supported by the string if we give the force to the beam it is actually downwards the truck is here the truck is somewhat having a mass it gives a force to the beam then it is noted here as a downwards the upward strings supports the beam from collapsing here we have to observe the thing we give the force at the center but the bending moment is calculated at the joints because wherever we give the force at some distance only we have to calculate then we can calculate by adding some distance then the joint will come we give force at the center point then we have to calculate the bending moment is equal to perpendicular force into the distance so the truck is standing at the center of the beam the effort will be held at the joints okay the situations we are handling while calculating the bending moment are all is static so only in the condition of static we can calculate the bending moment okay the moment can be calculated at the static condition now we have entering to the torque torque is the rotational force it cannot be calculated in a static situations while we have to calculate the torque it is a situation of the rotation moment a rotary moment here we apply some force by our hand to this spanner it starts to rotate and it loosens or tighten the bolt the spanner starts to rotate somewhat towards the direction so we give the radius here likewise uh, the torque is equal to radius into force forces we are applying by our hand the radius is the distance between the pivot point and the bolt we can see some other examples of the rotary elements like wheels gear hammer all these objects are uh, working by the torque principle we can calculate the torque here by using the radius and force if we increase the radius the torque will be huge if we increase the force then the torque will be huge Uh, for example we can increase the length of the hammer to increase the torque because the radius gets increased 
or else we give too much force to the hammer to break some elements. Uh, we have the two factors here, radius and force. If we need to improve the torque, we must need to improve any one character or factor of the torque. So we are using engineering to reduce our work force. So we increase the radius. We are using the vehicles. When the size of the wheel gets increased, the torque will gets increased. Same thing is applied to the gear. Okay. This is application of torque and bending moment. Here, the linear way, we can easily operate the cycles at a maximum speed. But in the upward direction, in a slant uh, hillside roads, uh, we are unable to handle the bicycle because the angle is slightly changed. The angle is a very essential factor in increasing or reducing the torque. So we have to conclude the bending moment is also the force into distance. Torque is also radius into force. Radius and the distance are same. The SI unit of moment and torque is Newton meter. So we need to understand the examples and situations of the moment and torque. Uh, the bending moment is calculated at the static loading conditions and the torque is calculated at the rotational or rotary motions. Thank you.